Hi everybody, I am back today with three different projects that I want to share with you. I use the Dream Collection from Printables by Elle's and I will link her Facebook page down at the bottom of the description box below in case you are interested in buying these papers and making something for yourself. Each of the projects that I'm going to share with you today is done with all of the same papers. So you'll start to see some of the similar patterns uh, as we go through the projects. So the first thing I have to share is this larger journal that I've made. And then I have this cute little tiny um, beach tote and then there's a smaller journal inside of it. And I'm going to set this off to the side because we are going to start first with the big journal and then I'll talk to you about the smaller journal which will be a subscriber giveaway as well. So this journal I made using an old book and I took the pages out and I actually used the pages in the journal which you'll see. I covered the spine with some flannel fabric and I used one of the pieces from the, the digital paper collection for the front and for the back. And uh, my, my journal has three signatures. It has a one and a half inch spine and it has lots and lots of pages. So I made a little closure that it actually matches the, the, um, the thread that I sew the signatures in with. And then I have a little bow here that also matches. So it brings everything together. This paper is gorgeous. It has lots of bright blues and aquas, a little bit of pink and purple, and it's got all these beautiful feather images. I just love this paper. So opening up, I just put one of the images here on the front. I left it blank. And there's lots and lots of different um, furry, lacy, fun embellishments in here, just to highlight the papers. And I have a lot of spaces that are pretty blank so that you can journal in here. And then I've got lots of tags too. So I love this, this main image of the collection. Opening up, there is a pocket that I've stitched around. I've stitched around a lot of the different pages. And in the pocket, I've put two tags. So the tags on the front side have some stamping. These are the book pages that actually came out of the book. So I recycled them into tags and I just put some stamping. I used blue stencils and um, stamps and I used blue for each of it so that it would emphasize the papers. And then on the back, I just took white craft paint and I painted over the text with some white and some blue to be able to dim down the actual print of the pages so that you can journal and write right over top of them. And then on this page, there is a bookmark. It's a larger tag and again, it's got some of that paint on the back so that you can write, place photos. You can do something on the front too if you want, but I did decorate it just a little bit. I used some music paper in here as well. This is one of the corners from the paper collection. And then I did a little bit of light stamping here. You can put photos, whatever you wanted to do here. I took one of the pieces from the paper, just a little tiny sample here, and I just put a little bit of lace and inked it with blue. And then on the back side, just the beautiful images. And this page I took from a different paper pad that I have, but it has purple, so I wanted to bring out some of the purple. And I made a pocket here and I just tucked one of the papers that I just folded in half and I made a little bit of a ruffle here. You'll see a lot of these throughout the paper collection. I made paper ruffles with some of the book pages and then cut off pieces of the, the actual collection. And then this piece of the ephemera. Turning over, this pink is also not from the collection, it's from a paper pad that I had just to help to bring some of the pinks out. Here I used a book page to make a pocket, one of those ruffles, and I have two different little pieces here. This you can actually cut in a spiral and it will actually pop out, so it's really kind of neat to see how that works. So I left that in there so that if you're using the journal, you can decide what you want to do with it and where you want to put it. Back here is a pocket and I tucked in a little bookmark with a stencil and then again some stenciling on the back but then also some white paint so that you can write on that. Over here I've just tucked another piece of the paper into the top here. I love this image. Some more stitching. 
a lace pocket here with a larger tag, just some stenciling and some stamping, stamp here, and then some of the white paint to help with being able to see the writing. Just left this page blank because I want there to be space to write or add photos and not worry about covering up the images in the paper. In the middle of the signature, this is a tuck spot. I left it open so you can put something there. Again, blank. These are just some of the cut aparts from the collection. Some lace trim, a little bit of ribbon here. Uh, another one of the pieces from the collection. Again, this is another pocket. It has a piece, a half a piece of the paper in it for some more places to write or to add other things. And these pockets are pretty big, so you can add more into it if you want. On this page, I have a small little tag here that has stamping and it has a spot to write. And then this is also open here if you wanted to add more into the, the book. Just some, some more stenciling. This one is also open, so if you have another tag or something, you can put something down in there. And then a larger tag with some stenciling. Use this as a piece from the collection and use it as a tuck spot. And then just uh, the end of the last signature. This is the last page of the first signature and this is the first page of the second signature. I left this open. It is a pocket. There isn't anything in it so you can stick something down in there. Some of the music paper. The second signature is pretty plain overall. The first one has lots of tags, the third one has lots of tags. This one just has lots of room for writing. One of those ruffles at the top. Tuck spot with the bookmark. Both sides are painted for more writing. On this one I have an envelope that I've made. It's just blank inside so you can put something inside of it if you want. Another one of those pockets from the collection and then some of the corners. Some lace trim, two of the cut aparts, and then one of the the paper ruffles that I made. I put two of the little flower pieces here that I fussy cut from the papers. I'm just plain here and here. I love this image. So we've got the ruffle here, but I left it pretty blank. I love these papers. Here I used a little pink tag, just plain on the back and lots of open space. Here I used the little string of pearls as a tuck spot for a tag that's got some stenciling and blank on the back. Another one of the ruffles. I made a banner out of this one. And this is one of the pieces from the collection. I just thought it was really cute. And then this I used um, as sideways as a tuck spot to hold this tag. This is open so you can place something in it. And then I used one of those side pockets and I placed two tags in there that have stenciling and um, just painted on the back. And then it tucks right back in there. And then this one, I apologize for my dog barking. She's got something that she just won't stop barking about. So this one, two pieces from the paper collection. These sides are just blank. I left these open so that you can put something underneath of it if you want. This is a piece from the collection. This is one of the paper ruffles. And then I have a couple of these that I made previously just from scraps and leftovers. So I liked and they were pretty soft, so they kind of matched. And then I used this and made a little tag booklet and just put it down there. And then we've got, this is the back of the second signature. This is the front of the third signature. And this was supposed to be paper clipped in, so the paper clip fell out, so I need to put a paper clip there. We've got some stenciling here. And then some stenciling and then a little tuck spot with the owl. This one here has a little tag, just blank on the back, and then a little ruffle. One of those little clusters that I made from different papers. And then this one, I have a little belly band tuck spot with the bird image that I fussy cut. And this is just a piece of the paper that I put white paint on so that you have places to write. This is one of the cut aparts from the collection as this little piece of lace here, one of those ruffles as a banner, and then two tags that I stenciled on the front of the book pages, and then put paint on the back so that you can write on them. And then I made an envelope here and I tucked in a little tiny card with the seahorse image. 
and this tucks the flip flops keep it closed and then this is just plain here with the ruffle a little bit of a bow and then one of the pieces from the collection I made a ballet band with a piece of trim. This is two of the pieces from the collection. And then I put a tag in here with some stenciling and then room to write on the back. This is one of the pieces from the collection and I left it like this because I thought that it would be cute to be able to cut this out and to place it on the page or to make a tag or just to leave it like this. So whenever you get the journal, you can kind of decide what you do with it. This is another one of those clusters that I made. It's open here, tuck something in it. This is a piece from the collection here. I use this as a tuck spot. This is from the collection. And then I made a large tag with stenciling and room to write. Then I have a lace belly band with another envelope booklet. This has a brad that's a swing tab. It opens up and then you can put something inside of it, but there's nothing in it right now. And then it just tucks right back inside there left this page blank there's a little pocket down here with two little tags with some ruffles the music paper just has some stenciling on it and those pages are blank and then this is the back side and it is open here so something can be put in here if you wanted to put something in there as well then the back just has a piece of the paper and then one of the pieces of the cut aparts. So this is the journal. It has lots of room to write, lots of room to tuck things. And I will be listing this for sale. So if you are interested in the journal already made, then you can purchase this. But if you are interested in making one similar to this with the printables, don't forget to check out the printables by Elle's. Facebook page for more information. Again, it'll be linked in the description box below. So the second project, this was a little kind of like teaser and I'm going to do this as a subscriber giveaway. So I am going to first show you the little bag. So I made the little tote bag. It's supposed to look like a little beach bag. It's got two pieces from the paper collection just glued together to make little tags here. This is one of the cut aparts as is this. I used some pineapple brads that I had in my craft room and then I made another one of those paper ruffles. This is from the collection. I made a little pocket back here with one of the corner pocket pieces, another ruffle and two more of the brads. And so inside of the little bag is a little tiny journal. And I actually love this journal. I think it's so, so cute. So what I did was I had printed three different sets of the papers. I printed one on regular copy paper, one on cardstock, and one on matte presentation paper. And so I used different papers to kind of see how I liked it. And so this is made with the actual copy paper and some of the cardstock papers. So it's really small. It's got three signatures inside of it. It is about four and a half inches across and five and a half inches high. And it is held together with a ribbon closure. Usually I try to, to keep the ribbons so that they're nice and long so you can, can tie a nice bow. So there's lots and lots of ribbon here. And then it's also got some ribbon on the spine too. And then some of the images from the paper collection on the front and on the back. Inside of the album, I just left the front cover blank and then you see I used different card stocks and actual pages from the old book that I used for the base of the album or the, the journal. So I've got the actual printables on top of some of the pager, pages. So I've got a piece here that's just blank and then I've got a pocket here that has a little tiny piece of the paper that you can journal on. And then on all of the book pages that I used, I didn't decorate them besides the ruffle strips that I put on them. So they're all put in the middle. This one, the front one and the back one of each signature is glued completely down, but the other ones are actually a belly band. These are pocket pages. So inside each pocket, there is something. So I've tucked in a piece of the paper here 
that can be used for journaling or whatever else you choose to use it for. Again, this one is a belly band, so something can be tucked underneath. Some of the pink paper like I used in the previous journal. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this is from the printables. Another belly band here. Another pocket. This time has a tag in it. Just very plain. And what I'm going to do is give the embellishment sheets to whoever wins this journal so you can embellish it however you want. Inside of the first signature, the middle is completely plain, so there's nothing in there in case you wanted to do a full spread. In this pocket here, there's another tag. And then another belly band here. This is one of the printables. Plain copy, cart plain scrap of paper from my stash. This is another belly band. And in this one, there is another piece of that paper. And then this one is glued down because it's the last one in the signature. This is the back page of the signature. So it has a pocket here with a shrunken down version of one of the papers. And then this is the back cover of the first signature. This is the second signature. So it has a pocket with a tag in it. Has another one of those ruffles. It is glued down. This is a larger sheet of the paper. And this one's a belly band. This is from my stash. This is one of the printables. Another belly band here. Another pocket. And this pocket has another tag in it. And then the middle of the signature again, just the book pages, nothing on them. Belly band here. One of the pieces from the collection. This is from my stash. This is another belly band. And in this pocket, I have another full-size sheet from the collection. And then this one is glued down. This one is the back, so it has a tag here. And then the back of the second signature. This is the cover of the third signature. And then there's a pocket with another one of the shrunken down pages. This is one of the fabric ruffles. It's not a belly band. There's a pocket here with a piece of the paper. And then another part of the paper collection. Belly band. A little tag in this pocket. And then completely open in the center. Belly band piece of the paper from the collection. This is from my stash, another belly band. In this pocket, it's another piece of paper from the collection. And then this one is not a belly band, it's just glued down. The back pocket has another shrunken down piece of the paper. And then the back of the third signature, the back cover is plain. So this is my little mini journal and when it is tied, it fits down into this bag and it's just a really cute little fun gift idea or just something you might like to do for yourself. So this is going to be my subscriber giveaway. So if you would like to be entered to win this, you need to subscribe to my channel. If you are already a subscriber to my channel, thank you very much. Please leave a comment in the description box below on the video to let me know that you want to be eligible to be able to win this. So if you are not a subscriber, you have to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you have to leave a comment for me below. Um, and then I will have this be available uh, to enter and I will draw name a name of the winner on October 1st. So you can 
enter this up until the last day in September, basically. So October 1st in the morning, I will take all of the names of the subscribers and the comments from people who are already subscribed, and I will just randomly draw a winner. So I'm not gonna pick one out, put people's names on papers, and I'll pick one out, and then I will let you know that you won. So check back for the video. I will do this on video. Check back to see if you won this subscriber giveaway. Thank you everybody for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the project. Again, if you want the papers, they are printables by Els and the link will be in the description box below.